Well, I quit flying during the pandemic. For now, anyway. In the past seven months, there were six trips that I ended up not doing. Instead, I've been staying home and doing a few local adventures by car, so I'll show you some pictures from those. But first, let me tell you about those flights. On May 13th, I was planning to go to Jacksonville for a wedding, but the wedding got postponed. And then I found out that the airline had canceled my flights anyway, so I attended that wedding on Zoom. The next month, I found a cheap flight to Las Vegas, to Las Vegas, and to Denver for June 25th, July 12th, and July 23rd, but I ended up not going on any of them. That Denver flight was only $33 round trip. Next, at the end of July, I had been planning to go to Nashville, Tennessee for a work conference, but it was rescheduled and then changed to be an online conference before I even had plane tickets anyway. And finally, I had tickets to fly to Austin, Texas for my cousin's son's wedding mid-September, but I didn't go. So if I had done all of those trips, that would have been 16 flights counting layovers. So it's not too surprising the airline industry is struggling. I mean, not because of just me. I mean, if other people are canceling travel just like I did. There were four times that I had tickets, packed my bags, went to the airport, but canceled my flight and didn't go. The first time I walked down the jetway, but turned around before boarding the plane. The next time, a few weeks later, I actually boarded the plane, walked to my row, then got off the plane. The third time, I went to the gate, but didn't check in. And the fourth time, I boarded the plane again, but this time turned around in first class before even getting to my row. I don't know what to say about why. I think ultimately, I realized that I wanted to stay more than I wanted to go each of those times. Another part of it was the strange feeling of being in a deserted airport or in a, or in a crowded plane with everybody wearing masks. It's all just very weird. But I did take some pictures, so look at these pictures. Look how empty LAX is. The international terminal was especially deserted with only three flights scheduled for the rest of that evening and then fewer than a dozen for the next day. Los Angeles is currently under safer at home orders and all people within the city are asked to leave their homes only for essential trips. To combat the spread of the coronavirus, LAX is asking all passengers to follow these rules. Wear a face covering over your mouth and nose. Practice social distancing by staying at least six feet or two meters from other guests and employees. Wash your hands often and thoroughly, or use hand sanitizer with at least 60% alcohol. Avoid touching your face, eyes, mouth, nose, or ears. Cover your cough or sneeze with a tissue. Refrain from touching others, including handshakes and hugs. And if you are sick, please stay home and contact your health provider. So, I didn't fly anywhere this summer. I did get refunds on all the flights, but they're in the form of credits for future flights, and I'm not sure when I'll use them. The good news is that I found plenty to do near home, so here are a bunch of pictures from some of those adventures. I visited the ocean. I went to downtown LA. Where there was a car rally. We went hiking near Lake Arrowhead. I visited Orange County. And saw lots of other things all over the place. I also spent a weekend in 29 Palms since I had never been there before but also to get away from the light pollution and look at the stars. Another weekend, I went to the northern part of San Diego where I visited a handful of parks. The Presidio, in Old Town, San Diego. So I found lots of interesting places to go locally. I also spent some time looking at the stars. I got a telescope for Christmas a few years back, 
And a few times a month, I'll take the telescope out into the driveway and look at the stars and the planets and the moon. I'm not sure why, but being stuck at home makes me more interested in seeing the stars and looking at things beyond our world. Even with a cheap telescope in an urban area with lots of lights, you can see some interesting things. I've seen my favorite star a bunch of times, the moon, all of the planets except for Mercury, and all kinds of interesting things. So if you want to try it yourself, I have two recommendations. First, get a star map. I use the Stellaria map, which has a free version. That will help you know what you're seeing, which makes it way more interesting. And second, use a good tripod that makes it easy to pan slowly back and forth across the sky to look for specific stars. So, even if you feel stuck like me and aren't traveling much, try to find interesting things to do locally. So that's my advice for today. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a good day.